Hello friends, Namaskar. Senior citizen and Budget 2023, I picked up this topic to come up before honorable senior citizens of our country to let them know that what are the special tax benefits which the government of India have passed on to them, if any, for or through this budget, Budget 2023. However, my dear friends, as most of you may be well aware that there are no slab rate related changes in old scheme. Therefore, senior citizens are a bit disappointed because nothing like ATTTB enhancement or ATB enhancement has taken place. But still, I'm of the belief that if you will compare the old regime with the new regime, to an extent, senior citizens may also get benefited. So through this session, I'm trying to put up before you what are the benefits or tax benefits which senior citizens may avail with the help of this budget, Budget 2023. Begin my discussion with the old regime slabs which were applicable for senior citizens and super senior citizens for the financial year 22-23. And as you duly know that there is no change in such slab rate even for the financial year 23-24. So, I would like to repeat that if you are a resident senior citizen who is of 60 years or more during the relevant financial year, but less than 80 years of age, then in that case, up to 3 lakh rupees your tax liability shall be nil. Between 3 to 5 lakh rupees income, you will be paying 5% tax. Between 5 to 10, you will be paying 20% tax. And above 10 lakh, you will be paying 30% tax. If you are at the age of 80 years or plus, then up to 5 lakh nil tax liability above 5 lakh to 10 lakh income would be taxable at the rate 20% and above 10 lakh would be taxable at the rate 30%. So this is what was for the financial year 22-23 and what is going to be for the financial year 23-24 year. So this is what has actually disappointed senior citizens to know that okay there is no such change in the old slab rate for us. Now I would try to uh, improvise over it by way of putting up the comparison on the new slab rate. Now let me put up what are the new slab rates or new regime slabs which is presently applicable till financial year 22-23 and what will be applicable effective financial year 23-24 or I may say assessment year 24-25. So the present new regime slab rates were up to 2.5 lakh and these slab rates mind you my dear friends are equal maybe you are a senior citizen non-senior citizen or super senior citizen up to 2.5 lakh tax liability shall be nil between 2.5 to 5 5 percent 5 to 7.5 10 percent 7.5 to 10 15 percent 10 to 12.5 20 percent 12.5 to 15 if the income is in between this slab, 25% tax liability and above 15 tax liability shall be 30%. Here, up to 3 lakh, the tax liability shall be nil. Above 3 lakh to 6 lakh, the tax liability for senior citizens shall be 5%. So there are changes, not only for a normal citizen, but also for a senior citizen. Above 6 lakh to 9 lakh, such senior citizen will be taxable at the rate 10%. Income above 9 lakh to 12 lakh will be taxable at 15%. Above 12 to 15 at 20%. And above 15, it will be taxable at the rate 20%. That is 30%. Now here in this slide, after being invisible, I'm trying to put up before you a comparative analysis by example. The first example which I picked up, my dear friends, is that senior citizen who is at the age of 60 years or more, but less than 80 years. If I say, here I have totally assumed this as an example. If I assume that a senior citizen pensioner is having 10 lakh rupees pension, 1.2 lakh rupees as rental income, 3 lakh rupees as the interest income, 1 lakh rupees as the dividend income, therefore his or her gross income from all the sources is 15 lakh 20,000. Now, if I apply this old slab tax liability on him, for this taxable pension income, such person would be eligible to claim a standard deduction and therefore final taxable pension will be 9,50,000. Rental income after standard deduction of 30%, my dear friends, shall be 70%, that is 84,000. Interest income remains to be 3 lakh. Dividend income remains to be 1 lakh. So gross total income will be 14,34,000. Now such person would be claiming deduction here. I am assuming that the person who is a senior citizen must have invested into ATC investment like PPF, ELSS, etc. 
ATTTB is automatically allowed on the saving bank FD interest 50,000. Therefore, total income remains to be 12,34,000. Now, tax on total income of such senior citizen may be for FY 22-23 or 23-24, both the years under the old slab rate will be same 1,80,200. And here, in all tax computation, I am not applying HEC further. Now, if new slab rate would have continued as it was up to financial year 22-23, then there was no standard deduction provision, rental income remains same on taxation, similar will be the interest, similar will be for dividend, this will be the gross total income, but unfortunately no deductions under ATC, ATTTB. So if this is the total income, say tax liability will be 183,500 for senior citizens, he or she would have been paying 3,300 rupees more as tax liability. Now suppose such a person opts into this new slab. Rather, I have to correct myself that the new slab rates which are proposed will be by default slab rate. If you have to go into old slab rate, even if you are a senior citizen, you have to specifically opt for that. So a very interesting thing, if you are a senior citizen, then receipt from pension would now be subjected to standard deduction under the new slab rate. And rental income remains same, interest income remains same, dividend income remains same. So gross total income, there is a difference of rupees 50,000. Unfortunately, again, no ATC, no ATTTB, but tax liability as per the new slab rate under which up to 3 lakh tax shall be nil, 3 to 6, 5%. Then 6 to 9, 10%, 9 to 12, 15%, about 12, it will be 20%. If that is how I calculate, then senior citizen will be ultimately saving 43,400. So this is a substantial saving. Even if such senior citizen is not being able to claim the deduction under section ATC or ATTTB. Now I am putting up. A comparative analysis by example for a person who is a super senior citizen that is of the age of 80 years or plus during the relevant financial year. I did not make any changes in the income figure my dear friends as compared to my last example all are same. I am first computing the tax liability of such senior citizen who is of the age of 80 year or plus under the old slab assuming for the financial year 23-24. So you are eligible to claim a standard deduction, rental income 70% taxable, interest income 3 lakh, dividend income 1 lakh, gross total income becomes 1434. I assume senior citizen, super senior citizen had invested into ATC, ATTTB and therefore total income comes down to 12,34,000. So tax on such total income will be 170,200 without HEC that is higher education says. If suppose new slab rate would have not changed and it has remained the same, then what would have happened, no standard deduction, rental income same, interest same, dividend same, gross total income is on a higher side as compared to this figure, no ATC, no ATTTB, on this the tax payable shall be 183,500, so here 13,300 would be more required to be paid by such super senior citizen. Now I come to this point, that even if as a super senior citizen, Now you will be entitled to claim a standard deduction, rental same, interest income same, dividend same, your income becomes 1434, no ATC, no ATTTB, no ATD even. This we have to be very clear. In the new slab rate, there is no mercy for the senior citizens as such. But on this total income, because of the revised slab rates, wherein I would again say up to 3 lakh tax liability will be nil, 3 to 6 tax liability will be 5%, 6 to 9, 10%. 9 to 12, 15%, above 12, it will be 20%. So that's how you can find that even super senior citizen, even if such person loses this ATC, ATTTB, would be at a tax liability of rupees 33,400 saving by paying only net net 136,800. So these two examples, which may not be standard in application to all the senior citizens, because what is finally applicable on you, could be a different picture, could be a different fact here. Because of the assumptions which I have taken in this example, because of the income figures which I have taken in this two example, I could find that even new slab rate may be more beneficial to the senior citizen or super senior citizen. So that is an important takeaway. Now let me discuss 
a very important change which is certainly of use to the senior citizens that the government of india has declared it is going to enhance the maximum cap on, on investment in senior citizen saving scheme from the present 15 lakh rupees to make it to or to take it to 30 lakh rupees this will certainly give the benefit to the senior citizen to ensure that they can have more investment limit allowed under senior citizen saving scheme because it is ensuring to pay them the higher interest rate as compared to other market products as such. So here senior citizens have a reason to cheer. And I would also say if a senior citizen would be taking the advantage of the old scheme, if they find it beneficial, then whatever extra investment which they make of this extra 15 lakh rupees under senior citizen saving scheme, that would give them one time benefit to be claimed under section 80C even. So that is an advantage to the senior citizens given by this budget 2023. Now let me also put up one other important point which is applicable for all, beneficial for all, but even senior citizens may avail benefit of it. But the government is going to change in the maximum cap on the monthly income scheme of the post office as it is proposed that the limit will be enhanced from the present limit individual investment into MIS monthly income scheme of post office from 4 lakh to 9 lakh and in case of joint deposit from 9 lakh to 15 lakh. So even senior citizens may avail the benefit of this enhanced limit so that they can ensure that they also keep on earning monthly income because of this enhanced limit. Finally, my dear friends, yes, to an extent senior citizens may claim that nothing is special as a tax benefit allowed to them. but through this video, I have tried to put up through the examples that it is not actively so. You as a senior citizen are supposed to compute your final tax liability at the year beginning, maybe by way of some uh, estimated calculation, budgeted calculation or even before time of filing return. And accordingly, you will be able to decide that, okay, what is your final tax liability and it may happen that even if you are not enjoying special benefits of ATTTB or enhanced exemption limit, but you may be ultimately beneficial to save tax in a new slab, right? That is a new regime. So I would say nothing to be disappointed. We need to compute our final tax liability and whatever will be beneficial, that will be filing. So this is all from my side, my dear friends. Thank you very much for being with me. Wishing you all the best. Jai.